Hey guys, once all of the red and green Christmas decorations is put away, I want to share a sweet little Winter Blessings snowman craft with you that we can put in its place. Now I'm using some of these things from the Dollar Tree um, as well as some other places. I will kind of let you know where all of the supplies came from as I get to it. Um, I'm going to start with this little Christmas box. Now, um, my son and my grandson had given me my gift in this box and I said, oh, that is the cutest little snowman. And so instantly I said, you know, I could transform him. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, the base of what I am going to, uh, you know, adhere that to are these two signs uh, from Halloween from the Dollar Tree. I liked the edge of the of them. They kind of look jagged. And uh, I thought that that would look really cute with some snow, uh, faux snow on them for a wintry scene. Okay, the first thing I'm trying to do is get the staples out. They were pretty deep in there and I've used a couple of different tools, but what helped the best was this upholstery tool. Now a sweet viewer had shared this with me in a, a, a different video. Uh, it is linked in my Amazon shop if it's something that you're interested in checking out, but it helps get out those deep staples. I guess they use them in upholstery shops. Anyway, and so um, now what I'm doing, I'm just trying to figure out how I want my signs to butt up where they kind of, you know, lay nicely together. And uh, so then I have some paint sticks I just picked up at the uh, hardware store like Lowe's or yeah, it was probably Lowe's. And so then I'm just cutting off about an inch because they're a tad too long and uh, if I'm just making this for myself and so if I were to be giving this away or selling it I would definitely you know cover up this back but uh, it doesn't matter to me since I'm keeping it for myself anyway so I am just hot gluing um, the sticks to the back of the signs just for stability then to cover up like that seam where the signs are together I just have some of this um, kind of like filler spackle from the Dollar Tree and I am just going around and just putting it in between where that uh, you know where the signs meet and then also in the holes of the staple and I should have wet my fingers already because once I took a baby wipe and tried to clean up a little bit I discovered that it's it actually goes on a little more smoother so I didn't know like once I painted the crackle technique on it I didn't know if it would you know if uh, the spackle were to adhere to you know it and that kind of thing it, it which it did it worked out just fine uh, but I didn't know at the moment now I'm just using some buttermilk um, Americana paint it's just acrylic paint I want that to be the bottom layer because that is what's going to show through the cracks because my um, I'm going to put my uh, this color then a crackle medium layer and then a navy blue on top and so this this right here is what is going to show through the cracks. So I'm using some crackle medium and you can get this at the craft store or I do have it linked in my Amazon store. And so I like to crack, uh, use the crackle technique on a lot of my projects. And so I am just, you know, just giving some putting some here on the board and then I just take my brush and just go over it. And it's you know, I kind of take my time with it. I make sure that all of the areas are covered. And one of the ways that I kind of can tell is if I kind of hold the sign up or whatever I'm doing, I kind of hold it up and you, I can kind of see if there's like a spot that I miss. Okay, while my crackle medium um, sign is drying, I completely let that dry completely. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm working on my snowman. And so I cut off like a bit of the excess of the box. And so then I'm going to start tearing it because, you know, you can see like in the picture, I am going to distress the edges and it kind of looks uh, to me like some wood. 
Uh, and so it all kind of ties the project together for me. So I'm just taking my time and I'm going around the edges of the, you know, snowman and my, like where my left hand is, where my finger is, I am just holding that I'm kind of positioning it there. And then I'm tearing along, um, where, I want my tear to be because that is what helps me guide it, uh, you know, so that I don't tear too much into the actual snowman. And so I just go around and I just tear off as much of the, uh, you know, cardboard that I want. And uh, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to distress it with my favorite distress ink, which is a vintage photo uh, distress ink by Tim Holtz. I'm using my Posca pen uh, in white, the PC3M, and I'm going to show you here, it uh, kind of, you know, just like a paint pen, it kind of came out a little uh, extra on, you know, on the hat, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. I'm just, you know, just going with it. And so I use my heat tool to kind of set that up. I'll go back over, uh, you know, and doodle up everything with my black Sharpie marker and uh, make everything really cute. I thought he had a really cute face already, so I didn't do anything extra to that. Um, but uh, yeah, just, you know, just adding a little bit more character. For the winter blessings little sign for my decor, I'm using the bottom of the box and I'm just cutting away some of the excess um, that I don't need and uh, to give myself, you know, some writing space. I'm using this Posca pen. It's a PC-5M. Um, which is one of my favorites uh, for little projects like this. And it's like a paint pen, so you have to shake it up and, you know, make sure that you have the ink to come down. And so I'm just hand lettering uh, Winter Blessings on it. And I'll do that by, you know, just uh, writing out the, the words and then doing my little happy dots on each end of the letters. It's just something that I like to do for myself. And then for the dot of each eye, I am going to do a snowflake. I'll do the same thing with my sign. I will cut off uh, the excess of the box and then I'm going to tear around the edges to give it the uh, jagged or ragged edge or the ripped edge. Um, I want to, like I, I find like tearing it towards myself or towards my body, that is what gives it the look that I want. If I would tear it the other way, it would give it a, a whole different look. So just, you know, if you like this look, just, uh, you know, play around with it and see the different looks that you can get by, by tearing your paper different ways so that, you know, it gives you the look that you want. Just using that same ink in Vintage Photo, I'm just going around the sign with my finger dauber and just giving it some color. And then I'll uh, also do the same thing with a Q-tip. I'll just use that, you know, my ink and go around the letters just for extra depth and dimension. Then I'm going to use my Posca pen, the PC-3M, and just highlighting the dots of the uh, ends of the letters just for some highlight. Mm -hmm. 
now that my crackle medium is all dry, it will be shiny, but there's no wetness to it. I'm using this blue paint. It is a deep midnight blue by Americana. It's just an acrylic paint. And I work in sections because actually it starts to crack right before your eyes and so um, I want to avoid taking my brush and going over it several times so I try to get as much paint on my brush I load my brush uh, as much as possible where I only have to do one downstroke um, so that I don't go over it uh, because I don't know it just kind of it just doesn't give a really pretty effect and once I show you how it all dries you'll kind of see what I'm talking about because if I go over it a little bit more it does tend to not crack as nicely so now my board is all dry and you can kind of see it gives it a really really nice crackle finish and so then now I'm just going to um, attach my sign and my snowman and I want him to be three-dimensional and so I achieve that just with some little wooden blocks from the Dollar Tree the Jenga blocks or tumbling tower blocks that you find in the uh, kids toy section and so I'm just hot gluing those to the back of my snowman then I'll uh, glue those to the sign uh, or to my back sign and then I'll also do the winter blessings as well and then um, I couldn't decide if I wanted to use the burlap snowflakes or the white snowflakes so I was just kind of you know back and forth a little bit trying to figure out which ones I wanted to use because I wanted to use both of them but since I did the distressing on the snowman and the sign I ended and this is rustic you know I ended up using the burlap snowflakes from Hobby Lobby. I'm using these wintry branches. I, now I picked these up at Walmart. Um, they were in the you know floral section and they look icy branches. And so I'm just trying to figure out how do I want to put them. So then I needed something to stick them into. So I pulled out my trusty Excelsior. Uh, it gives uh, you know a barrier, something for it to stick to and also adds a bit of whimsy, which I do like. And so I'm just hot gluing that to the bottom of the snowman and then I will we'll attach the uh, you know the icy looking branches to the bottom of the snowman For his bow, I decided to make a bow for um, like to put where his scarf is and so kind of to kind of camouflage the uh, redness of the scarf so I have this two and a half inch uh, ribbon from Hobby Lobby it's just a polka dot ribbon and I'm just making a two loop bow and I use my little tiny attacher stapler to uh, you know hold it together in the middle and at first I was going to use this one um, this check one but then I decided no I'm not going to use that so I wrap that back up put that to the side I'm using some different trims and so uh, you know if you've watched my videos for a while when I make my little messy bows junk bows refab bows whatever you want to call them my little bows like this I like to use a different kind of trims and ribbons because you know it just adds just some different texture to your bows and so I have this uh, you know trim these trims I get my trims at Hobby Lobby Walmart uh, anywhere like little trims like this are sold and so so I'll just continue to make my bow. I'm also using some muslin fabric. Um, I don't know if I said that already, but I'm using some muslin fabric that I already had uh, ripped and uh, just cutting that off in strips. I'll go back later and clean it up uh, once I get my bow done. I'm just using a pipe cleaner to um, gather it all in the center and then I will use my needle nose pliers to help get it really really tight because I want my bow to pop and what I mean by that is like when I get it really really tight it kind of like 
shakes around and like perks up those ribbons uh, because that is the look that I'm going for. And by getting that pipe cleaner really, really tight, I can have that little pop of my bow. To attach my bow, I'm pulling out a bit more of the Excelsior and then I'll hot glue that to the scarf that's on the snowman and so the object is I want to kind of take away or camouflage that redness of the scarf and then I just use my scissors to trim up any of the ribbon tails that don't lay right anyway so then now I am going to use some all-purpose caulk from the Dollar Tree and I am just I want to uh, give my snowman some faux snow and so I'm just using some caulk and a stick and I want to camouflage some of those bear or cover up some of those red berries that's on the snowman's hat from this particular snowman and so I'm just taking some of those frosted branches and more of the caulk and just kind of you know putting some of that in there so that it kind of covers up those red berries and stuff and so then I'll just go around and I'll just add some more caulking um, just by just giving it you know just some faux snow just hitting the high areas I kind of just play with it until I like the look of it and just continue to add some faux snow to my sign then to give it extra glisten I add some Martha Stewart's fine glitter and so if I know if you don't like glitter then don't do this part but I like to use this fine glitter and then I go over my caulking just to give it a little of snow glistening I do the same thing at the top um, that's why I liked these signs from the Dollar Tree they were Halloween signs and I just like the jagged edge uh, it kind of reminded me of you know something that you would see like an old picket fence and uh, so I just take my caulking and just go around the top of the uh, of my sign and just around the top of the you know winter blessings also I am sprinkling on some glitter I know the the camera and the video does not pick up the glistening of the sign but I love the way that this turned out I decided just to have it set um, against you know like my little setup here I'm not gonna put a hanger on it my first intention was going I was going to put a hanger on it but I just like it without a hanger just in my little winter decor setup that I have here and I hope that you love it too I would love to know what you think about it um, thank you so much for your support and for your sweet and kind comments we'll talk to you all very soon God bless mm -hmm.